Yes, guys, and welcome back to another Talking Rules video. I'm today's host, Jordan Russell, and we're going to be taking a look at your FPL squads, the three best Wolves picks and ones to avoid for the 24-25 season. So first of all, let's just get straight into it. Um, looking at sort of the top three selected, as it is of um, the 15th of August right now, um, I don't think you'd be able to guess the first one if you hadn't looked yourself, but the first and the most picked Wolves player, funnily enough, is Nathan Fraser. Um, for FPL, followed very closely then by Ryan Aitnori and Jose Sarr. I think um, the Nathan Fraser one is a bit of a weird one. I think there's a lot of people that have seen him as a four and a half million pound striker in the game, using him as a bench filler. Um, but as you know, with transfers, as values go up and down, I think Nathan Fraser is likely to go out on loan at some point. Um, I know the injury and the injury concerns around Mateus Cunha at the moment might mean he might be in the squad for Arsenal, but there's been a lot of SPL interest and League One interest in Nathan Fraser to go out on loan, so potentially one to watch and one I would most certainly look to avoid. Um, put it into my team because I think he'll decrease in value extremely quickly. Um, going on to the second most selected player, Rain Nori. I think you know he's marked down as a defender, four and a half million pounds. Um, I think it's a very good value pick, actually. For Ryan Aitnori, I mean, we saw last year how advanced he was playing in some games, almost playing as a, a left winger, number 10 at times as well with the injury crisis that we had throughout the season. And he's a phenomenal footballer. Um, if you listen to the recent Talking Wolves podcast, I selected him as my player of the season prediction for this season. Very, very good footballer. Um, I think criminally underrated by other teams and fans who don't really know that much about him. Um, and definitely one I agree with that should be one of the top three Wolves picks if you're looking at Wolves players for your FPL team this season. And thirdly, with Jose Sarr. Now, I think last season he was five million and even the season before that, typically Wolves were notorious for keeping clean sheets, more so in the, in the Nuno era. And um, that sort of followed a little bit. Um, for me, I think the problem is with Wolves, really, um, to start off this season, the first 10 fixtures aren't exactly great when it comes to FPL. We play a lot of the big boys Fixture difficult rating wouldn't have us really, you know, we'd be one of the worst uh, teams in terms of the first 10 for fixture difficulty rating. And I think Jose Sarr is going to concede a few goals. Um, not necessarily his fault, but I just think, you know, we're likely to concede a few goals in some of those early matches. So again, for me, another one who I'd look to avoid in those early weeks, just because I think, yeah, I think his value might get decreased when people transferring him out if we have a, any sort of bad or big defeats in those opening few weeks of the season. Um now looking at really, I guess, my three or the three that I think um, are the most valuable picks for Wolves and, and, you know, in my order and how I would rank them, I think number one for me would be Ryan Aitnori. And now I know that goes a little bit contradictory about what I just said about Jose Sarr when it comes to, you know, can see not, not a lot of clean sheets uh, in those first 10 fixtures. Um, however, Aitnori is one of those at four and a half million pounds where I think he'll get a lot of attacking returns, especially when people will be using him as sort of a fourth or fifth defender in the squad anyway. I, I really see a value in picking Aitnori from the start um, and, you know, keeping him in your team, really. Because I think, you know, he will come in at times for you and he'll also play quite high up the pitch. And with Wolves moving to what we what, what Barry O'Neill saying is going to be back for, I mean, we saw it a lot of times last year. It's very sort of fluid. It goes from a four to a five at times and, you know, full back will tuck in and the other full back will turn into a wing back or even a, a winger, as it were. Um, Aitner is definitely, for me, someone, you know, he'd be my number one Wolves asset for sure. If you're looking to get any Wolves players in your teams, he would be number one by by a country mile. Um, secondly, for me, I think Mateus Cunha, um, again, mentioned that he's got a slight hamstring injury at the moment. He might not be fit for Arsenal, he might start on the bench, but for me, he's um, a very, very good footballer. Six and a half million pounds on the game. I think he'd be fit in that equation for sort of your third striker, um, depending on if you've got Haaland or not. Um, and yeah, look, he had some great returns last season. Again, injury plagued at times last year, but his goal returns were, were really, really good. And, you know, when Wolves play well, well when Cunha plays well, Wolves completely do play well as well. Um, and my third one actually would be Huangi Chan as well. Now, he's still listed on the game as a midfielder. He had a real purple patch last season for Wolves. Um, coming up with a lot of goal contributions. Um, again, played by injury at times, which seems to be a common theme with uh, the Wolves squad from last season. But six and a half million pound midfielder. Um, he has taken penalties for us. Uh, he's a massive goal threat and he does sometimes play up front as well. And I think, you know, if you're looking at three Wolves players, um, or any Wolves players you want to get into your team. Um, for me, number one would definitely be Ryan Aitnori. Number two would be uh, Mateus Cunha. And number three would be Huang Yi Chan. I think looking down a little bit lower, some of the outside picks of some Wolves players, for me, 
someone who's in my team at the moment as my fifth defender is Yerson Mascara. For those who aren't aware of Mascara, he's been at the club for a few years now. He's been out on loan. He was at FC Cincinnati. He came back and he was at Villarreal for the second half of last season. Um, he's come straight into the game as a £4 million uh, defender. And actually, he started all the pre-season at centre-half for Wolves. He's a very young, exciting defender. Very quick, very mobile. Will be a threat in the box because he's quite tall. Um, and I think he's one of those really, if you want a £4 million defender to sort of bookend your team and just to you know save some budget and, and spend it on some of those more premium players, Yersin Mascara is one of those ones that will definitely stick in around the team. He will not, you know, I think he'll start centre-half. I don't think he'll come out of the team very quickly. And some of the other £4 million defenders that he might put in might decrease in value very, very quickly with any sort of transfers out, wild cards, that sort of thing. Um, and another one I think is worth looking for as well is the new man up front, Strand Larson. Um, he's coming at five and a half million pounds. And I think how we've been lining up in pre-season, it's been more so a 4-2-3-1, more so than the traditional 3-4-3. 5-3-2 sort of look that Wolves tend to fall into shape with. Um, Strand Larson has been playing as that sort of pivotal, you know, the number nine, the lone striker with Mateus Cunha sitting a little bit deeper off him and making runs in off the, off the back of that. Um, he could have a big season for us. I think, you know, our attacking output last season when we had um, a full squad of players was very, very good up from previous seasons. And he, I think he'll have a big season for us. He looks, you know, he's very, you know, very, very mobile, um, over six foot, knows where the back of the net is, got a lot of goal contributions for Celta Vigo and hopefully he can bring that into uh, the Premier League for us. So that's my thoughts. All I want to say is good luck to anyone playing fantasy football. Um, I hope the Wolves players, if you do pick any of them, do get some nice returns because that means we're playing well. But please, you know, leave your comments in, in the description below. Let us know sort of what Wolves players you're looking at, any funny Wolves related team names you've got. And we'll also leave a, a link in the bio below for the Talking Wolves Premier League. F, well, Premier League code as well so that's it from me um, see you soon on the podcast and uh, take care of yourselves